What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today, bringing you guys a new video from my Madden 25 Ultimate Team series. And today we are in game three of season two of the head-to-head -head seasons. I was able to walk away with a win in both weeks one and two, but now it's time to get that winning streak going. We're going streaking! Yeah, we're going streaking! All right, let's take a look at my opponent's lineup. Oh my goodness, this is awful. <laughs> 70s and 80s across the board. This is brutal. This should be a very easy win for me if I don't play like crap. I know some people intentionally put together a budget squad if they're a really good player just to test themselves. So hopefully I'm able to do something against this team. Obviously he was good enough to get to rookie first string division, so he must not be too bad. But let's see what we can do here on offense. First play, it's Chris Johnson off the right side and we're gonna get swallowed up after about a gain of four. I'm kind of surprised there. Usually I'm, I'm able to catch my opponent off guard here by running the outside zone play a couple times in a row. It didn't really work right off the bat. So we hit him here with the read option. It's quarterback Walter Payton and he is gonna say, Bye-bye. No use of shorty, as my guy the Dream Kareem would say. And Walter walks into the end zone, putting us up 6-0 early in this one. Now on defense, first play of the game, and he's going to try to go deep here. Fade route to Randy Moss, but Dion says, no thanks. I will take that, please. And he's going to return it to about the 25-yard line before he gets taken down. And then this happens. That's right. The rage quit about five plays into the game and so I get the win moving to 3-0 now and what I decided to do was actually put together another game for you guys in this video I didn't want to give you just one so we'll get to game two here now and this one's a little bit more competitive my opponent actually shows up in this one so I think you guys are going to enjoy this one a little bit more so as usual let's take a look at my opponent's lineup and right off the bat you see he does have Randall Cunningham and the rest of his team isn't super overpowered. He does have 99 Mike Allstott, but I'm not too worried about that. And a really good offensive line. Look at that. Basically, the best offensive line you can have in this game, pretty much. But the rest of his team's pretty mediocre overall. Does have the Pat Pete and, the, and a nice Richard Sherman card. and Good secondary. He's good in some areas, but overall, not a great team. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's kind of interesting to me. I've, I've noticed that quite a few people have that Randall Cunningham now. I don't know. My price must have dropped significantly on it or something. First play, you see that play. I don't know what happened there. I have no idea what he was doing on the kick return. I almost picked that thing up. That would have been a touchdown if I somehow landed on it or, or was able to tackle him at like the one yard line. But he ended up just falling down in the end zone, taking the touchback. Now on defense, and watch this. I almost intercepted that pitch. That's what I thought was going to happen. I saw the pitch coming, but he was able to get it off. Mike Allstott takes a big gain, and after that, I was a little bit rocked. I was a little bit shell-shocked, but I was able to get some nice pass rush here on Randall Cunningham, force him into trying to make some plays down the field, but he wasn't able to find anything. He had to dump it off here to DeMarco Murray for a loss. Third and 11 now. He's scrambling. Finds another pass to DeMarco Murray, but we saw it coming again. This time, he loses three more yards. He ended up punting, thankfully. I, I took him out of field goal range with those plays. Now we're on offense, and it's Chris Johnson off the left side with the outside zone. Nice gain on the first play of the game. Finally get taken down by Cam Chancellor. Next play to the opposite side, the outside zone again. Donald Penn picks up that big block. No user shorty. He misses a tackle, and we're finally taken down, down the field by Earl Thomas. Now after an incomplete pass, we're taken down in the backfield for a loss. Third and 12, I'm going to try to go with the read option here. It's been working for me in other games, but unfortunately not quite enough. We only get six, forced to kick the field goal here on the first drive, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take my three points. Not really too worried about that. So second kickoff now, he is going to try and return this one. You saw the first one. We miss a bunch of tackles, and I thought for a second he was going to go the distance there. Now my opponent's back on offense, and he's again trying to go with these screen passes just over and over and over again. It's not working for him. That's the third straight time that we stopped it. Finally, though, he hits a tight end streak over the top to Julius Thomas for a nice gain, 17 yards. The read option attempt again. That time we weren't having it. It's Antrell Roll in the backfield, tackling him. Another tackle here for a decent a decent stop. We only let him get three there. He scrambles off the right side and throws it deep into coverage. Three, man. Oh, and nearly caught. I don't know why none of my guys jumped for that ball. I got lucky there. 
Next play, fourth and 10, he goes for it and converts. Unbelievable, great pass there by him. Next play, I don't know what he was doing there, throwing it to Brandon Spikes. I, I, he kept going with these like weird formations. Take a look at this. On the far right there, that is Shane Leckler that he pitches this to. I don't know how Shane Leckler was even on the field. He must have some really weird setup where he's got like Leckler as his backup quarterback or something, and I don't know. But thankfully, he didn't have anybody good back there because he was only able to get a few yards. Fourth and four now, he picks up another first down, this time running off the right side with DeMarco Murray. But I am not going to be beaten by the run. This time, it's Derek Johnson making a tackle in the backfield. Next play, hands the ball off to Michael Allstott, who gains about five. But it wasn't enough because it's third and seven now. He has to pass, throws it into coverage, and it is prime time, baby. Gotcha, bitch. Deion Sanders gets the interception, puts us back on offense, and it's time for CJ2K to go to work. Big game here, running down the field. He outruns everybody on the field, and he is going to be gone. A 93-yard touchdown. Chris Johnson, the new free agent in the NFL. But on my team, he isn't going anywhere, guys. That is a beast card if you've never had him before. My opponent back on offense now. He keeps looking down the field and dropping these little screen passes. I saw it coming again, but unfortunately for me, this time it finally worked for him. He was able to get a first down. Very next play, he's got 40 seconds left in the half, and he's going to bomb it into coverage. Devin McCourty gets the interception, and we are back on offense, looking to put some more points on the board before the end of the half. QB Walter here takes the read option, gets a nice gain, giving us another first down. Now second and 10, another read option here to the opposite side. Walter Payton just continues to get big yardage every time he touches the ball. We're going to try and do it one more time off the left side. My opponent just cannot stop it. We get another first down, nearing field goal range now, and my opponent goes off sides. We've got nine seconds left before the end of the half. Passing now, trying to get just a little bit closer to field goal range before the end of the half. Bombing it down the field. Ooh, that was actually pretty lucky because if I would have caught that, I probably wouldn't have scored. And it gave me an opportunity to kick a field goal here. We got full power here with Dan Bailey. He's got it. Nope. Fell short. Apparently, I need to invest in a new kicker. Anyway, opening kickoff of the second half, and we get that familiar pause, and then it's the rage quit. Yep, another rage quit. Back-to-back -back games now in this series where I forced a rage quit basically before the first half ended. I mean, I guess technically it was the first play of the second half before he rage quit, but... I'll take it anyways. It now moves us to 4-0, and we're going to look to continue that undefeated streak going into week 5 in my next video. That is going to do it for today's video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please press that like button below. If you could leave a comment as well, I would greatly appreciate that. And of course, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. Thank you, guys, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.